yeah, whatever, well, so that one dude I was talking about didn't message me till late last night, and this is the games they play, right, so, now granted, I didn't have my service enabled the whole time, because the way it works is, even if you have Wi-Fi connected, it'll still want to use your fucking data, um, so I can't say for sure that he hadn't messaged me earlier than 11.30. But regardless, when I got his text about how he was done moving, he was sitting there telling me how he wanted me to come over. And then he gave me his, his uh, address, which will, you know, could potentially come in handy in the future, depending on how he wants to, you know, continue our interactions the way he's going to act. <clears throat> then all of a sudden he starts making a million excuses why I shouldn't come over. And he's like, oh, maybe another time. And I said, okay, well, what's the plan then tomorrow? And nothing. Nothing since then. I had my, I actually forgot to turn my service off. You know, put it on airplane mode with Wi-Fi. And when I woke up, yeah, there was I don't know, like I said, there were just, I'm not even going to go into that, but I had a couple things to do today, and like one of them is trying to set up a, a UPS box, which I've done before, and, you know, like I said, I won't be staying here any longer, you know, if he doesn't want to do something tonight, like the only way I would stay where I'm at is if I'm going to be staying with him, basically. And like that one place I looked at, or I'm not looked at, but I was talking to on email. It was just, uh, you know, of course, once I asked to, okay, to, you know, to actually make plans to see the room for rent, they stopped responding. And I looked their name up, and there's some type of mortgage thing. So it's so it's just some type of bullshit sales thing, which they're not supposed. You know, when they when they violate the terms of service, that's okay, I guess. But then. When I don't violate the terms of service, they constantly delete my posts. Whatever. Anyway. <clears throat> um, even if even if I don't stay, I'm going to be going all over the country anyway. And so I'll still get a UPS box because, like, for one, I can still come back to get anything I have sent to it. And so I'm still planning on getting one, trying to get one today. It depends how much it costs. I don't even remember what they used to cost. But they used to not be that much. I'm sure they're ridiculous now. But um, I could, you know, get that. You get like a 24-hour key, right? So you can get in. You got a key to get in, and then you can, you know, go to your mailbox, right? You get a little mailbox, and if you get envelopes or whatever, you can get them or... If it's a bigger thing that won't fit in it, you can go in when they're open and like sign for it and they'll hand it to you. That's how it works, right? So I'm thinking about just still doing that, getting my, you know, I'm I just, I need a new computer and I, you know, just want to be able to have the parts for it. And if they get sent there and they're just held till I, you know, come in to get them, <coughs> I don't have to be staying, you know, in this city. You know, I can just come back whenever I need to or whatever. And so I'm going to be doing that in several locations, right? This is part of the strategy I used to use in the past, you know, especially like because UPS box locations or whatever can be, or, you know, can be used as a real address. You know, if I, if I was somewhere long enough to where, okay, I, you know, I need to make some money, I could, you know, just apply for a job while I was there, you know, like I've, I've done this a million times. It's what I did, you know, in 2019, you know, as I mentioned when I was in St. Louis the second time. I had actually, you know, I had the UPS box from earlier that year, which is why I went back there. Um, I should have, I should have just tried to get a couple jobs while I was there originally. And if I had done that, yeah, I probably maybe could have avoided a lot of shit because I was making good money, you know, even though I was working too shitty you know, fast food jobs, I was, um, I'm trying to, trying to think real quick how much I was making, 
Yeah, for like over two thousand dollars a month, right? Which you know, if you're having to live in hotels, isn't you know you could still potentially be losing money, but you know if you had like that's the way I look at it, right? Financial type stuff, and I might make more videos about this in the future. But sometimes you have to look at it as what option makes you lose the least money, right? And I don't know. I just got a lot of things to think about how I'm going to kind of proceed through all this because I have money, right? Like I have savings, but like there's a difference between spending money and wasting it. And like just because I have money doesn't mean I'm just going to, you know, throw it into a fucking black hole, right? Um, but I'm I'm just sort of sitting around for a couple hours because the way the world works now, nothing's open at night. And, you know, even though Walmart opens up, I don't know, I think they opened up at 6. Well, but everywhere else I want to go today is like either 8 or 9 o'clock, so there's no point going out now. And then just having to wait in the fucking parking lot. <sighs> but whatever, you know, I'm just got to buy some things, try to get one of those UPS boxes. And, uh, yeah, I go to a couple stores. But, yeah, I knew... I knew what this dude's bullshit was, and just like with Craigslist, like the only way you could even almost find a place, it, it's sort of the same thing, right? You just have to throw, you know, shit at a wall till it sticks, right? Um, you know, you have to, you, you don't have any other choice, right? 99 almost 100% of people are, are you know, going to act this way. Like, even with the Craigslist thing I mentioned, they act the same as these dudes on these dating apps. Hey, are you still looking for a place? Yeah, you got one. Well, no, but I was just wondering. It's like, well, why the fuck are you messaging me, though? Right? Oh, and that's another thing. Uh, the other day, I, or last night, I was looking at an app and actually saw the ex I had when I lived here online. I'm going to be going into that at some point. But here's just like a real good encapsulation of the bullshit. I, I've told numerous stories about him, and one of the stories I talked about was how I just wanted to cuddle all the time. And he would always tell me, no, I, you know, it makes me feel claustrophobic and blah, blah, blah. Well, when I saw his profile on here last, which I blocked him, but when I saw his profile, in his profile it says he loves to cuddle. Oh, okay. Well, so then how come the narrative when we were together was you don't like cuddling? See you know what I mean? People are evil and that that's a whole that's a whole thing on its own, but um you know, the the phone thing, I'm going to have to get a new phone at some point anyway actually because various reasons. I mean, I just I'm that's just how I am with, you know, like I just everything's a burner phone for me. And if I, you know, build a new computer, I'm going to have to reinstall Windows, you know, on it. And one thing I'm hoping is I can actually get new hardware to work with Windows 7 because that's what I use. Um, but either way, at some point pretty soon, I want to have access to a more modern browser or whatever and be able to deal with YouTube more directly. And probably one of the things I'll do is... I don't know, I might make a new account, like a new YouTube account, I don't know. But if I make another account, it's going to be kind of kind of travel focused. I mean, it's still going to be everything else like I normally do. You know, I do lifting and rant videos, basically, that's it. But now it's going to be like that, but then it's it won't be travel, it won't be like a travel vlog channel it'll just be that'll it's not like a theme it just I mean I guess it would be sort of that theme to the extent that that's just the videos I'd be doing the most for the time being right but like with the UPS box thing you know I'm gonna get one where I'm at I'm gonna you know if when I go back to St. Louis I'm probably gonna try to get another one there um and, I mean, I'm going to be all over the country, so I'm going to try to have at least a few, right? That way, any major area I'm in, like I have somewhere to fall back to at least get my mail or have an address to apply, you know, like whatever I need to do with. 
So probably at least a couple on the East Coast and at least a couple on the West Coast. And if I'm going to be in a, you know, a lot of areas are sort of, like there will be multiple major cities that aren't that far away from each other. Usually I'll try to get one sort of like in the middle of all that. Um, so like even on the East Coast, right, like if I went too far a certain way, there might be another cluster of cities and it's better to get one there for the same reason, but I don't know. I'm, I got a lot to think about, but I also probably got another hour or so just sitting around before I do anything, so I'm just trying to, I might try to put this up, but, you know, other than that, I'm just trying to relax for the time being. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and before I leave, um, I still had some, like, one of the videos I had made showing, like, food I had in the tote and mylar and stuff, I gotta finish sealing up what I got with me, um, yeah, whatever, I just, you know, make another video later.